see what we get with that. Boom, 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 boom. Right. So there we are. This is uh, a Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am Subtype Art, John Dahlia. This is the Duff. XF105 460 horse. We've added a few accessories to it to make it look a little bit different, and we've tributed it to Harry and Megan's wedding. Um, we are around level 19, I believe. Yep, and we are moving on up through um, uh, to the next uh, stage. We're going to do a couple more loads. Uh, we are currently in Moldova. And uh, in Balti, Moldova, and uh, we're going to start heading back um, across. We could go to Bucharest or to Brecon. Um, that was fairly decent load. Uh, or we'll through to Poland again. Uh, Nagovia. Damn it, that one actually. Quite fancy that one. Takes us all the way through Romania. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Particle board. It gets me through Romania, through Hungary, into Herefnagonia, um, Govina, Herzegovina, a little bit into Serbia. And uh, heads were back towards Italy, where hopefully oh, it's a heavy as well. But let's see what we can get with this. We've done heavy cargoes before. So we are currently on our. Um, we are currently sitting in Moldova. We have just delivered a cargo. We have got track IR on. We are really, really tired. As you can see, we're going to go and find a hotel which is next door. We did get fined for that. Head out over towards uh, this hotel. We absolutely flew it in on the last uh, Twitch live stream. If you were watching, we've been doing a lot of live streaming on Twitch lately. Um, and uh, we're going to do a few more on the uh, YouTube as well. We're going to do a few more videos as well. And if we can get into this parking space and parked up. Without damaging the truck too much by launching it over. So that'll give away time off. That'll get us back to being legal. We did the last trip without track iron on. Uh, don't know if it made much difference to be honest. Let's get out of here. Let's go and get one load. And uh, go and get one load and we'll head back. We have also live stream truckers multiplayer, which was a experience experience and a half to be truthful with you um, all right we're in the north half of the country absolutely fine up the north and then when we got towards um, we did a job out of Holland again not a problem in Holland 
Um, we did a job in um, from Holland down to Cali, which was probably where we made the mistake. And uh, things went from bad to worse there. Um, why should we take this one? We'll take that one. It's a little bit later. So, yeah, things went from bad to worse. You, you found a lot of um, people wanted to use it as a racing game and um, just really wanted to cause trouble on the on the roads. You got people driving into the side of you. You got people um, deliberately crashing into you, deliberately blocking roads, which is not great to be honest. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, so we went, did an immediate um, run back to the UK. We flew uh, back to Calais, to Dover, and then up to Birmingham, which was really good. Uh, we got out of there pretty quick. Forward damage on my profile was wrecked and um, made it back to the UK in well, I suppose one piece uh, turn the four ways off let's get out of here drop back in the cab and then we'll head off we have 562 miles to rock and roll Don't think there's anything coming. Can't see anything coming. If there is, it's tough for out now. Um, so yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best experience I've ever had on Euro Truck Sim, but we did pick the busy server. We did pick uh, the server with 4,000 people on it, and um, yeah, got interesting. We are using track IR as you can tell we are using a Logitech G920 pedals, gear shift and steering wheel. It's um, we've got a couple of things set up in the pipeline. One of them being a um, gear shift modification that we're going to try and manufacture and put a video on how to do that. We're also going to try and manufacture our um, gear display which we've got all the parts for nearly we need some long bolts and nuts and we need some 3d printing done and then we'll get that manufactured and show you how we're also planning on releasing that as a kit so you can put it together yourself uh, if you want it you can then just pay for it through paypal or or any other form of payment you want to do, PayPal is usually the best. And uh, like I say, you, you can then have a gear selector display. Um, we're also looking at um, button boxes as well that we're going to try and manufacture. And um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people do them, but we're not only going to just actually manufacture them, we're going to show you how to put them together. Put the kits together so you're doing it yourself it's it's like a self-build kit all the kits will be have all the parts in all you have to do is put them together and uh and enjoy the enjoy what you what you've built yourself which is i believe part of the fun of this and hobbying is building stuff and making stuff fit and work also going to put together a indicator stalk and uh, that's going to be an interesting one because we'll find a way of attaching it to the steering wheel so it falls handy so there'll be uh, there'll be a little bit of design work involved with um, with uh, with how we're going to make that work I suppose We'll probably design that in uh, Fusion and then uh, 3D print that and get that put together. 548 miles to go. We are needing fuel to be honest, so we might just fuel up here. 
it gives a good opportunity to fuel up. Glad we checked. Don't think we would have made it up to this place, but it's a good place to. to and the fuel's not expensive, 51 pence a litre of diesel. That is absolutely cheap as chips. That's probably cheaper than chips, depending on where you buy your chips from. I'm gonna fuel that to the brim. There we go, 349 pounds for 684 litres. And then we're out of here. Drop that and break off. And we're gone. Check the mirrors, nothing coming, and we're out and away. We'll have a quick look at the job sheet. Uh, 24 hours to uh, do the job in, and our next rest stop is 10 hours and 16 minutes away. We've got dry milk on board, and we're going to Slavonski Broad in Glaber. Which is Hrefna. I believe it's it's Hrefna Gonya. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Roads in Moldova are shocking, aren't they? Absolutely shocking those roads. But this is uh, this is typical of Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe does when the last time I went to Poland, well, sorry, the first time I went to Poland, the roads were like this. You were running in ruts, you were running in um, in in grooves in the road that hadn't been filled, hadn't been repaired. You were running over concrete um, slabs, which threw and rattled the vehicles to bits, to be honest. So, yeah. So, this is um, us leaving the Moldovian state, I believe. And moving into Romania. There's a nice uh, view as we head over the dam wall. See if there's anything from the outside. You can see it, the graphics are really good. So this is Romania we're about to pull into. Slowly through the border. Uh, off we go. Up towards uh, the next big stop. Now, we head through Romania, first time in Romania. The roads are really, really bad, the one there. Look at that. So we are going to be fairly close to this time limit when we look at um, the actual travel time. It's saying it's going to take us 13 hours and 24 minutes. We are going to need to take a stop of around about, I believe, a stop of 9 hours, hopefully. It might be an 11 hour stop. If it's an 11 hour stop, that's going to push us late for our delivery. So we may actually have to get our tour down, but who would want to drive fast on these roads? It's horrible, eh? Crazy. The only thing we know is it's uh, potentially only going to get better. So, stuck at the travel lights, unfortunately. Um, big shout out to the two people watching us at this present time. Hello to you. So if you want to leave um, comments in the in the channel, please do so. Let us know who you are, where you are at, and what you are doing on a Sunday evening, the 8th of July. Um, we are going to do a bit, a fair bit more streaming tomorrow as well. Uh, we're going to do a bit on YouTube and a bit on uh, Twitch. We are, uh, I believe we have a day free tomorrow as uh, the site we're meant to be visiting is believed to be cancelled. So hopefully we've got a bit of work to do on the van. 
to put a few more lights on a few more gadgets possibly another pair of speakers in there and then uh, from there on the day is ours to do with what we will there's the old uh, Romanian police heading past Bash is struggling with his weight on the back I'm glad I didn't take the heavy one 192,000 pound in the bank uh, 210,000 outstand on the bank loan we will uh, work a little bit longer before we pay that off simply because we want some work and capital although it would be nice to get it paid off early increase for credit rating and also increase for um, what profits and to be honest we're not doing too bad with only two trucks in the fleet we are going to add a third and we're going to attempt to get a female driver to drive it uh, Andre, our driver, if you remember rightly, he has improved his skill level from 1.7 to 2.5, uh, doing his bits and bobs all over the Europe as well. He's improving, this is what we like to see. It's always good to see a driver improve his, uh, his abilities. And I think if you reward drivers that improve, then all is good. Chuck some lights on as it's now 10 to 9 on a Saturday night in game time of course time we have at the moment is 10 to 10 on a Sunday night we've got 496 miles to go and um, we should be able to do this 12 hours of, of travel time I'm going to try and keep the foot down a little bit through here Romanian police probably aren't going to bother with so much. No, but like I said, I've been to Romania personally. If anybody is out there that is Romanian, then please let me know what it's like. What are the police like? What are the people like? What is the country like? It looks. I mean, if this is a representation of Romania, then it looks quite nice to be honest. It looks a lot of industry and farming. So yep, this is, uh, it does look really nice. But there again, this is a simulation, so we don't know if it's accurate, if it's, uh, if it's like this at all. Like I say, I'll leave that up to you to let me know, I would appreciate it. We are uh, heading into the sunset, heading west. Um, as you may have noticed there was a football game on over the weekend and uh, the victorious team was uh, England playing Sweden 1-2-0 Deli Ali scored the second and Harry Maguire scored the first at 30 minutes and Deli Ali scored in the second half well done to them shine taken off the fact slightly by the damage caused to a London ambulance vehicle um, by the celebrations afterwards which was absolutely horrect horrendous why anybody would think it was big and clever to stand on top of an emergency vehicle damaging it is beyond me but these people I think the, 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 the actual thing about it is they probably weren't thinking at the time which was probably fueled by alcohol and uh, general crowd spirit. It's just a real shame that uh, England gets viewed in those lights. When you see the World Cup and you see places like Brazil and Colombia and uh, all these other countries supporting their teams, yeah, I suppose you get outbreaks of violence in them as well and maybe stupid behaviour. But a lot of the time they're being reported as being full on supporters that they go out there and celebrate and party without actually damaging things and having to destroy things. I mean, you know, there was scenes and pictures of England fans going into IKEA and absolutely trashing the shop uh, with our celebrations. And you've got to wonder why. There's, you know, yeah, it's a Swedish company. And I get that, 
but there's English people in there, there's English families in there with kids, and to see a spectacle like that, I would imagine would be absolutely terrifying to be honest for a child. You know, it's um, it's quite shocking to think that the team's done that well and then the fans go and spoil themselves. But hey ho, maybe that's what fans do nowadays. It's potentially why I'm not a football supporter. Uh, not that I think I'm better than anybody else, but football is not my sport. And I like my rallying too much. I like uh, all forms of motorsport, but rallying's my uh, forte. Uh, let's see, I like all forms of motorsport. I believe the Formula One was on today. Didn't watch it. I believe there was some controversy over Hamilton and Kimi Raikkonen. There's my first speeding ticket of the day. One of many, I would imagine. If anybody is looking for the Twitch stream, it is under sub type R. Please go and support me, go and follow me, go and uh, leave a comment on the Twitch streams. We are putting videos up in Twitch as well. And uh, we're also. Oh, caught again. Wah! I reckon this cop has booked behind me. Um, we also. Um, going to do some live streams on Facebook as well and uh, we're also going to put a few more videos up on YouTube um, maybe a few more tutorial videos we're going to launch our next series of videos which will be a PC simulator I believe we're also going to try and do a couple of games my god this Romanian country's cost me a fortune um, we're also going to do a few games of Grand Theft Auto 5 um, which not really geared towards kids so I will warn you now it's a it's a more of a adult team game so it's down to yourselves discretion wise as to whether you watch it there will be plenty of warnings uh, same with my summer car there is going to be plenty of warnings that uh, it's of a the game has adult content. So there you go. There was nearly adult content on the um, live stream I did of Truckers um, Truckers Multiplayer. But that was more down to the swearing. I was quite shocked to be honest. I thought this, you see to me Truckers MP should be a simulation rather than a than a game but you get a lot of young players and drunk players and people that just go there to cause havoc and chaos if uh, you hear a lot of, or you read a lot of posts in fa on Facebook about people being banned well if the admins were watching my live stream there was a fair few people that could have had banned and um, removed from the server We are approximately 400 miles away when we get down here. We are going to call it a night with this live stream. We are basically testing it out, to be honest, to make sure it works on YouTube as well as the other media. And see if it also records. So this is being streamed live via an app called Game Show. And uh, to be honest, it's quite easy. We need a little bit of polish. We, we definitely need a. Uh, update our um, screen in the sense of um, displays chat pa chat panel things like that but um, it's uh, it's not bad we had our latest update from frugal sim he's a good uh, guy who concentrates a lot on flight simulators um, kind of what got me into 
uh, live streaming and recording. But like I say, we will be uh, we'll be certainly doing more of it, and the more time we get, the more we're going to spend with yourselves and uh, try and increase the popularity of the channel as well as um, like I say maybe try and do a few giveaways do a few competitions see where we go if you are a, um, a Euro Truck Simulator 2 player get in touch um, like I say we're going to try and do more on multiplayer uh, we're going to try and run some convoys Although I think that is going to be, mm, I don't know if it's going to be difficult. The more people following it, the more people that are interested in Euro Truck Sim will make it easier for it. First time we've got a decent speed limit here, 56 mile an hour, foot down, here we go. It's uh, really dark out there, isn't it? The, um idea here, here is we'll get back through into Italy we'll do the last seven remaining cities to gain our achievement and um, hopefully with that um, then push on back up through Europe and back to the UK we will go and try and discover a bit of Ireland maybe head back to Iceland as well in Iceland we found a couple of scenic spots where we got some videos and uh, pictures and they were uploaded on Facebook and sh on stream as well on Steam sorry again we're not hanging around 64 mile an hour pushing the limits on but uh, sometimes it's just what you have to do to get the load there on time Turning right down here. Cluj Napoca is the town we've just discovered. So there's another t another discovered town city. And we'll be going right here. So this, the more cities we discover, the more jobs we can get, the more places we can visit, and uh, and that's and that's the whole point of going out there. We've only discovered about probably 14% of the map, uh, and there is more maps out there as well um, that we can add. Uh, so we will look at adding more content to the mods list, to the maps, and. Uh, pushing on as much as we can and seeing how far we can make this how big is we can make this game we've got two big add-ons already we've got pro mods and rust maps which are huge add-ons we'll go up to Budapest that's quite close wasn't it Probably took it a bit easier going onto the onto that roundabout, but I thought it would have cleared. Most people don't want to stop in the middle of a roundabout. So here we go. We've got a looks like a truck dealership up here on, on our left hand side. So we'll discover that. And then we'll uh, move on and uh, head up towards Budapest, and uh, we'll we'll discover Budapest. Hopefully, we may not discover this one. Hmm. Wonder if it'd be worth pulling off and having a look. Oh no, it's an Iveco dealership. Yeah, oh, we're not going to discover that. That's a shame. But we haven't got time to hang about. Foot down to the destination. We'll be back. Main beams on. Ah, there's some uh, by the good lights on the front of this. We added four more since you last seen it. We put a, a Euro bar on the front. 
and added four more lights, four more spotlights, and um, I think I believe three or four markers as well, just to give it that illuminated look. Another fuel and rest area, but we're going to keep it on and keep going. 336 miles to go. And uh, pulling not too bad to be honest. Now we're in the in the lower lands. It does struggle a little bit up hills with its 21 ton. Nice forests. Dip the lights for that young man. Or lady. Cut this corner. Ooh, that was a bit tight. Settle it back down. That was definitely a bit tight. Um, we'll be on Twitch a bit later on. Uh, we ran a couple of uh, premieres on the videos, which I never even thought would inflict with running a live stream, but it does. So once they're done and out of the way, we will do a couple or we may do a couple of loads on um, on Twitch as well. So if you're watching Warren, yes, we will be on in a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to get this load out of the way and then uh, we will look at doing Twitch as well as uh, get some Sunday lunch, I think. Not Sunday lunch, but supper. Get some supper. 306 miles to go. We're still in Romania. Um, we'll be coming down to the Serbian border, I believe. That won't be long. <laughs> yes, can you? Yeah, man. Uh, this is kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build up the, um, the actual... Uh, levels so I can get a Scania Longliner. We do, we're only on level 19 and it's not unlocked yet and to be honest I don't want to do cheats on, on this one so as soon as we get um, to a level where we can get a Scania Longline cab Warren it is going to be straight on there my friend Warren does some amazing amazing work with uh, skins he's done some fantastic skins of Stuart Nickel Transport's Scania Longline which looks an absolute beast um, his police Mercedes is absolutely another one I want to get out there as well and um, a couple of the other cabs the Volvo as well that's like I say absolutely amazing and it's populous game in UK skin again absolute beast of a skinner this guy if you're wanting skins for trucks and trailers get in touch with Warren he um, he certainly knows how to do graphic design work onto wagons and onto trailers as well the guy's a genius oh thank you very much Awesome warrant, sounds good to me. Um, like I say, you can't beat your skins, fella. They're absolutely amazing. I mean, like I say, I'm just a mere novice on skinning trucks and all that. But we try. We um, like I say, this one didn't turn out too bad. There's a couple of things I wouldn't mind changing. And uh, if anybody does want skins, then give Warren a shout. He is on Steam and the Steam Workshop. And again. Like I say, it works absolutely amazing. We will, we will, Warren, be uh, getting that Stuart Nickel long line. And then at some point, I'm hoping you'll do a custom one off skin for ourselves, GLTR Transport, on a Scania T cab long line, which is going to be the, the daddy of the fleet. And that's the one we're going to. We're going to use. But thanks for joining us again tonight, Warren. It's appreciated, my friend. This is a 
a bit risky, but never mind. Ah, uh, maybe not too bad. It's a JLTR transport, Warren. JLTR. Which is the initials of me, the wife, daughter, the wife and daughter, and uh, my two boys. Ooh, red light. Never mind. We're not going to get fined for that. I should have been watching, should I? Whoops! Uh, it'll be the uh, RGL scan, yeah. I will do, definitely, no problem. Um, we're basically going to try and do. Uh, I've got a couple of pictures for you of, uh, of another DAF as well, which has uh, just been done by a, call, a guy called Matthew Painter, and it looks absolutely unbelievable. It's um, it's based on Fast and Loud, uh, Richard Rollins, and I tell you what, my friend, <laughs> that guy can airbrush. He's uh, he's done some amazing work on that, which would look really nice on a on a on, um, on, on a skin. And the other thing about it is, he's uh, he's also the guy that did the uh, the Marvels uh, Scania as well. So all the cartoon heroes. Yeah, no bother, fella. We'll, uh, like I say, we'll, we'll get this done, we'll have a sit down a bit and I'll send you some pictures. Um, we'll uh, try and get something sorted so we've got a, a, a good uh, daddy of the fleet and um, see what we can come up with. Any case, Warren, I mean building them, you should be out driving them as well, get up on, get, get the game fired up and and get out there and, and, and come and join me. Probably driving better than me. <laughs> no problem. That was the wrong button I pressed there. Scary for a second there, all my lights went out. A rat discovered, ah, and another bloody speed and fine. Oh, I should watch the speed, shouldn't I? But we've got places to be, people to see, uh, and the clock's ticking. Oh. That's pretty bad, that mate. It's um, must be jealousy. That's all I can say, Warren. If uh, if they don't want to help, but at the end of the day, surely the whole point of a community is to help each other and, and grow together. Is that certainly would have been my idea? Well, if you're going to get caught at two thirty in the morning by a police car, that's the sort of police car you won't get caught by. I think that's a Lamborghini, possibly? Or a Ferrari? That's uh, some police car. We'll have a slow drive past and see if we can see exactly what it is. My God, it's a Lamborghini. Poof. Like I say, you're not going to outrun that on a straight line. Although I bet some people in the UK would still try. truck dealership discovered that's good hopefully they'll be bringing the uh, Renault T out soon when they get the license and all that sorted out I believe I 
and we're having licensing issues with uh, the Renault T as I think they said that it's owned by about three different companies who've all got to agree on the terms of the license oh well now we have a book of rest they've all got to agree on the terms of the license for them to use it so that's possibly why it hasn't come out so quick but to be honest if it was uh, if I was the main man in charge of um, of Renault I'd be jumping at the chance it's fed good so we're heading right here towards Hungary I believe I'd be up onto some decent road eventually Get the foot down now. 223 miles to go. Five, just under six hours. We are going to need to take a break though at some point. The one thing I do like about this uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, the um, we were up in Iceland and um, we were driving down the road and saw a little deer cross the road. So the random events on this is actually quite good. You've got loads of different little random events that happen in different places. So we're up on the border here. Romanian border with, uh, I believe it's Hungary. Uh, we'll be crossing the border shortly. Boy, he got a freight and a half slowing down, didn't he? Dive through here. Here's the border. And on we go. 206 miles. Poppy tonight is uh, enjoying her tin of raw meat. She's uh, been out in the garden most of today. My wife's been out in the garden most of today helping the neighbours move a shed really commend her on that she's done really well should have gone help her really shouldn't have <laughs> but I've been playing with the kids and we've been playing uh, Lego Indiana Jones on Xbox One which to be honest is a really good game it's um, it's a really good game in the sense of it makes you think about uh, there's a bit of action in there there's a bit of problem solving and it's at a level that uh, my my kids can sort of like easily cope with and it's not that difficult that uh, they can't manage it it's not that easy that they get bored of it they just really love it and the achievements that go with it is um, this is what they play for they play for completing that game and completing the achievements and moving on which is uh, keeps them entertained So we are pushing on now. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce any of these uh, city names that we're going past. If you live in this area, give us a shout, tell me how to pronounce them, because I ain't got a clue. And I'll take no, I'll make no apologies. My Hungarian or Romanian is nil point. If I went into a Romanian restaurant, I wouldn't know if I was ordering Kellogg's Corn Flakes or a Killer Steak. At least I wouldn't know until it was served to me on a plate or in a bowl. So, still heading towards Budapest. Budapest is a city made up of two, two areas. One of them being Buda and the other being Pest. And they're on the opposite sides of the river, I believe. I may be wrong, but I'm fairly sure that's the way it is. And Budapest is in Hungary, of course. <sighs> and seeing we're in Hungary and our driver's tired, he's now tired and hungry. 
It's always bad when you laugh at your own jokes, isn't it? Oops. Went in there a little bit quick. Ooh, yeah. Scraped the corner. Ooh. That's Megan's side as well. She's not going to be pleased. Defacing a monarch. I wonder if that's um, a hangable offence. I hope not. That'd be quite an interesting thing, wouldn't it? If uh, they wanted to push the fact if you'd coloured your vehicle in royal pictures and stuff like that, whether you could get done for defacing or or um, what do you call it? Yeah, you know, when you destroy cash, it's against the it's against the, the state. Can't remember, but in any case, whether that's uh, it's not treason, but I wonder if it's um, I wonder if it's it's one of them things, or whether it has to be legal currency, or whether it's any picture of the royals. <sighs> we'll nip down here where it says trucks. That was a bit quick. Take a break here, so we don't get fined. Bobby. We're not that far off, actually, 141 miles. Bobby. Back it up a little bit. Oh, is it going to let? Up? Yeah, that's all right. So there we go, we have rain, oh dear, you know everybody knows how we love the rain, we've got to, we're English, off we go again, let's have a quick look at our job sheet, we have five hours to go, so we are going to do this, not too badly, uh, it's three hours fifty-five, it's going to be close, but Hopefully I'm not getting held up anywhere. Keep my hammer down. Subotica. Subotica. I wonder where that is. Dipping on the main beams. There's Poppy in the background giving it seven out on the old um, let's bark at everything to gain some attention. Pray to God there's no coming. As you wouldn't be able to see if you did, especially following the line of the road, you'd have to basically take a, a, a full on swing at that. So, like I say, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce any of these names. So, look. Subotica. Discovered, so we discovered this town. We discovered where the police park up with the speed traps. Wonder if you're watching the red lights as well. 120 miles to go, three hours and 39 minutes. Keep an eye on the green light because in Europe they go red to green, they don't have an amber going this way. The amber only comes on. Oh, this one has. Oh, that's weird. Most European countries go from red to green without amber. Apart from England, England's um, red, amber, green. Oh, should I say red, red, amber, amber and green? And then goes uh, amber and then back to red. I didn't think there was many other countries did that. Obviously this is one of them that does. I know in France and Germany the lights are uh, red or green and if you come up against any lights, uh, traffic lights which are flashing amber, you treat that junction as a giveaway. So you are basically allowed to cross it with care.
Oh, there we go. Bus broken down, probably, on the back of that. Quick glance round. Turning right and then left. Must be a little bit of a breeze out there. The flags are fluttering away. Um, going to be interesting to see the Scania long line simply because it'll be interesting to have a look over our shoulder. I mean, if we look over our shoulder now, you can see there's the bunk just there and it's straight behind her. But on a long line, the bunk and the cabin is totally different in the sense of the bunk runs from the front of the cab to the back, so it runs lengthways rather than widthways across the cab, and that's why it's a long line because you have a full-size bunk, I believe a full-size bunk, running the length of the body at the behind the front seats. And um, you usually have a, uh, a, well, I've seen them with sinks in there, I've seen them with little coffee tables for the drivers to have their meals, cupboards for their clothes, fridge freezers, microwaves, you name it, these wagons have got it. And they are an absolute beast on the road. And the one I really do like is the French tea cab, um, which is all black and he's got mainly marker lights all over it. And the trailer matches and that's got marker lights over it. It's got chrome highlights. It's an absolute stunning beast of a wagon. And it's got the big V8 growl with it as well, which makes it absolutely probably the pinnacle of Scania's uh, fleet. It would certainly be a pinnacle of any fleet if you owned it. Don't think there's, any, there's don't think there's many on the roads. But if you own something like that, you're going to get looks everywhere you go. And in the UK, you'll be getting looked at by Vosa, <laughs> the TV, uh, the Department of Vehicle Transport. You'll be looking at the police probably, because uh, anything out of the norm stand that stands out usually attracts attention. And sometimes it's the wrong types of attention that it attracts. As in, like I say, the police and the Department of Transport. And in the UK, I believe we still have a limit of length of vehicle on the road. Unless it's a specialist transport. And then that has to be have uh, rules and regulations attached to it that I believe you're not allowed to travel over 40 mile an hour which for a general haulage truck would be not much use to be honest so crossing the border here quick look to the left and right so we are I believe entering um, Hresnagovia Hresnagovia Hrvatska what Vatska is. This would be our custom station. Vatska Patina. Loads of little signs, and uh, I would love to be able to pronounce them to be honest. But unfortunately, I can't. I will, I should learn, shouldn't I? I should put Google Translate on, let it have a look at the screen and tell me what it says, or at least pronounce it for me. a cracking adventure to get a chance to do this in real life though wouldn't it and I know it was like driving in the UK and Europe but to get this far east and uh, be this the lone single UK driver out in um, let's say out in the east I think that'd be quite quite a big adventure wouldn't it The weight was off. Is he going to let me out? Hopefully he is. Thank you very much. Give him a quick wave. Off we go. So 
So, 83 miles to go. We are nearly ready to drop this trailer and that's where we'll call this stream on YouTube a success and uh, I hope you have enjoyed it as much as what I have making it it's been really good to be honest I, 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 I like Twitch but I like uh, YouTube as well and uh, YouTube is I don't know if it's as big as Twitch or whether Twitch is as big as YouTube but it's um, it's really good We are 75 miles away from our destination and we are still about just under two hours. 46 miles in the back row. <laughs> I've been done for speeding again. Oh man. Never mind. We should have earned enough money off this to take a few hits on the old uh, speeding, speeding side. Thomas, my youngest one, is just about to head off to bed. So he's saying hello and good night to everybody. Hello. And uh, he's the one that we were playing um, Lego with earlier on Xbox One. Which again, like I say, if you haven't got it and you've got kids, get them to play it. It's quite good. It really is a good game. So, uh, off again onto another carriageway. Uh, back up to 50 mile an hour it's going to be a bit of a little I don't know if it's a bit of a shortcut 60 miles to go flat to the mat we're going to get and looks like a tow road coming up here it's a grab we're off towards I thought Zagreb was in Croatia. Oh no, Zagreb's in Serbia, isn't it? So this is uh, coming up to the Serbian border. So yeah, we're running right alongside the Serbian border here. Preferring if we carried on up that road, we would have crossed it. There's um, our toll crossing ahead. This is where we probably just uh, pay the toll for a certain length of highway. Oh, it might be a point where we cl collect the ticket. Let's have a look. Now, this is the start of the toll road, so this is where we collect the ticket. And then when we come off the toll road, we, uh, we pay what we owe, which is always good. 31 miles an hour speed limit here. Oh, he's not hanging around. Pex in Hungary. And this is a big autobahn. It looks like it's just being built. I wonder if it's complete in real life. I don't know if what they call it, whether it's an auto route, autobahn, motorway, maybe. We are 46 miles from our destination and we'll. We'll get down there in the next few minutes on this route, definitely. 50 mile an hour limit. That's ah, not soon so bad. We'll hopefully gain a fair bit more XP to get we leveled up quicker so we can get our RGL Scania long line with Warren Hills Stuart Nickel Transport skin. Like I say, check that out. Go on to Stream Workshop, check Warren Hill out. He's an absolute amazing graphic artist and he's done some really good skins and uh, yeah definitely check that guy out skins and stuff like that added to to the game make the game what it is if everything was just a red truck or a white truck or whatever it would be boring uh, you if you can put your little bit of personalization on it and make a dedication or a quick nod to a company Stuart Nichols Transport massive company in the UK based in Scotland and uh, his long line is well known on the truck show scene and uh, really good like that so 
So we're off to Zagreb. Take it easier down here, maybe. So on to this junction. Nearly done. 24 miles to go. Slip out behind this young man, old lady. Gonna go all the way and get past him as well. Cheers, dude. Young man driving that. We don't hang around when we want to. As you probably witnessed on some of the Twitch live streams. We just get up, get going and get out of here. Every day can be a foot down Friday. So I believe we go off this slip road here. It's tight though. It's a big it's a big old turn that one. Take it easy up over here. Turn that indicator off. Slavonsky broad. Still sounds Russian though, doesn't it? There's a farm implement, a bailer, I believe. Alright, definitely a time delivery this one. The customer's expecting a delivery pretty soon. We're going to get my tour down. Make it happen. Oh, yeah. boy, wrong side. I was back in England there for a second. Oh dear. What a mistake and a maker. That's the exit. <laughs> oh, trust me, Warren, I will not drive your skin like that. Well, I probably will. 12 pounds. That uh, barrier on the other side was worth every penny. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> See, I was back in England there for a second. How bad was that? I was concentrating on that time scale. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, gotta get this trailer in, gotta get this trailer in, gotta get this trailer in. I'll nip down the side and race him through these barriers. And uh, I forgot it was a two way road. Just goes to show how easy mistakes happen though. We are only about six miles away. Hopefully, we'll make this delivery on time. We. Um, Labrodsky, we are pushing everything to the limit now to get there on time. We're we'll not worried too much about speed and fines as we plow on up here. On the way out, we'll discover them to um, question marks as well, which I would imagine would be a recruitment agency and a truck dealer. Bus station there. Or another, oh maybe it's a, I don't know, there's, there's the home depot you can buy, there's the garage that you could literally buy and use as your own garage. And we're going to be going in here, and hopefully we'll have done this on time. Let's go on that beer there. Right. This could be where we make or break it. We've already broken on that barrier. If the Royals are watching this, God help my head when it comes to being on the chopping block. I'm never going to get a knighthood driving that truck like that, am I? If anybody's friends will hurry on Facebook, please don't tag them in it. So there we go. We are on time, hopefully. Good work brilliant I like that uh, you go so we've only lost 80 XP we are progressing on we're only about another just under 2000 XP to get up to level 20 and uh, we've gained another 23,570 my name has been Subtype R you've been watching Euro Truck Simulator 2 I appreciate your views I appreciate you watching a big shout to Warren we will be on Twitch in a little while and at this particular time thank you very much and we'll speak to you all later stay safe and god bless and hopefully we'll catch you next time